Hello, my name is Andrew Thake from Minds and Money. Delighted to be joined today by Mark Brennan, who is the Chief Executive Officer and Co-Chairman of Serato Gold. Delighted to have you with us today, Mark. Thank you for having me, Andrew. Happy to be with you. Um, Mark, I think the last time we met was, gosh, I think about October 2020, uh, uh, just as we were sort of struggling and battling with uh, uh, COVID. What's happening in the last sort of 18 months to uh, Serato Gold? Well, we, we've made some really good progress on, on all fronts. Um, you know, in Brazil, uh, which is our lead asset, basically uh, what we've been doing there is, is bringing the project to, to feasibility. Um, and we expect to have that uh, feasibility completed uh, sometime in the second quarter uh, around the end of May. Um, as per the PA that we published in, in October of 19, um, I think this is going to be an extremely robust P, uh, feasibility study. Uh, may not be quite as strong as the 95% as the, uh, IRR after tax on the on the PA, but it'll be, you know, it'd be an exceptional feasibility that the likes of which I have not seen for, for a long time. Um, and and uh, so that's been very, very rewarding. That's been very, very uh, strong moving forward. Uh, but we've also moved forward our production scenario in Argentina, um, where we've taken the production uh, up from when we acquired the mine in, in uh, March of 2020, we, where it was producing around 23,000 ounces. Um, in 21, we produced 43,000 ounces. Last year, we produced 53,000 ounces. And next year, we're, we're targeted to go to this year, excuse me, we're targeted to be at 60 to 70,000 ounces. Um, so, so, you know, and up to next year, we're targeting 80 to 90,000. So, you know, we're, we're, we're quadrupling production. Um, you know, the, the, uh, we're, we're driving a strong operation, which is also a growth uh, opportunity, just like Brazil, even though it's in production. Um, so obviously an established mid-tier gold producer, what makes you stand out from those other mid-tier gold producer opportunities out there? Our, our value opportunity is, is exceptional. Um, where, where we drive, uh, you know, and, and, and what, what uh, it's puts Serato away, from, uh, differentiates it from anybody else, is that we're looking at, at, at a production profile where we're producing um, around $500 all in. Um, that, that's a, re, you know, remarkable profitable. We're looking at a low capital cost. For example, in Brazil, we're looking at, at somewhere in the region of, of about uh, 150 million all in working capital plus, uh, CapEx. Um, and, and, you know, we'll be producing probably about 150 million of cash flow a year, uh, and hundred million of free, free cash a year. So our payback is just over a year. Um, we've got, we'll have a nine year, my life. Uh, and, and again, to highlight both of our assets in both Argentina and Brazil are both discovery assets still uh, prone to, to a lot more ounces coming out of the ground than we have projected today. Mm -hmm. um, some of our investors listening in on this may have some questions about Brazil and questions about Argentina as what are they like as mining investment jurisdictions? <clears throat> I remember there used to be this joke going around that Argentina is where money goes to die. Um, I'm sure you're going to come back that with some good sort of facts. But what will you say to investors listening in who do have doubts about Argentina or who do have doubts about Brazil? I, I would say, I would say, you know, it, it's it's common knowledge. I mean, I, I'm not going to repeat what you said about Argentina, but but at the same point, Argentina is a complicated jurisdiction. Um, you know, they have a significant program a problem with with uh, the import of U.S. dollars, and and they do talk a lot about how they're going to enhance the gold sector, grow the gold sector. Uh, and 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 drive uh, you know production in order to facilitate U.S. dollars coming into Argentina, um, but unfortunately there there are a lot of macro policies that hinder that. Um, so I would say to you that on on a geological perspective, um, you know it's a tremendously well endowed uh, country. The difficulty is with the the uh, with with the policies and the politics and 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 the lack of capital uh, available to to come into Argentina under the policies that they have. Um, so, so um, what I would say is we're growing an operation. Um, we think Argentina, uh, again, we can grow a substantial opportunity, opportunity there that, that maybe one day somebody's going to want. Um, and, and that's the way we, we kind of view Argentina. It's growing independently. We tell investors, you know, put Argentina in a, in a, in a bubble by itself. It funds itself, it grows itself, uh, and it's doing remarkably well. Um, and, and I hope that, that, you know, we have the potential uh, of what we see in our neighbors at Yamana, at Cerro Moro, or Cerro Vanguardia for Anglo, or, or at Cerro, Moro, or Cerro Negro for, for Newmont. Um, 
you know, we have 333,000 hectares there. It's a big, big land position in a very prolific mine belt, uh, the Desierto Massif. So there's lots of upside potential there. But, you know, again, put Argentina aside, value our company, invest in our company on Brazil. Uh, if you ask me about Brazil, I think Brazil is a wonderful jurisdiction. Um, you know, I was part of the original team that 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 sold uh, Yamana, the, the Jacobina project uh, that we 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 took from scratch in Desert Sun and and sold it to, to Yamana for seven hundred million. I then went and built Largo Resources uh, with with Kurt Menken, our, my partner, uh, who's still working with us in Brazil. Um, and and you know, Brazil is a very very good jurisdiction to work in. And and you know, I've talked to a number of private equity funds and they say it's their favorite jurisdiction in the world. Um, there's never been any major issues with repatriation or 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 policy government policies that are interfered with mining. Lula and then Bolsonaro and now Lula again are, are tremendous um, advocates for for business and, and mining. Um, so as for as for um, you know on, on on a you know political and and and, uh, and and a macro basis, it's a great jurisdiction on on the ground. Uh, you know, the the the, uh, the the Brazilian currency is about 5.5 to the U.S. dollar right now, makes it exceptionally attractive to mine in, in Brazil. So so the reality is that, um, you know, policies are good, uh, very well endowed with with lots of mineralization, gold and, and other metals. Um, and then on top of that, you've got a great currency to work within. So so I love our, I, I love Brazil. Uh, you know, uh, we have a great project in Brazil in, in one of the richest states in brazil because it's a very significant industrial complex uh, uh agricultural state uh so we've got amazing uh infrastructure you're not in the jungle um it's a tremendous uh it's a tremendous area for us who are your main shareholders uh well the main shareholders are management management and directors own 40 percent of the company um uh, and and to a certain extent that's been a little bit of a hindrance um in the sense that that we we do have a large control of the company but at the same point, I like to think of it in, in, in the perspective that, you know, that we are very strongly aligned with shareholders. You'll see, you know, management don't take uh, obscene pay uh, salaries or anything like that. We're, we're really riding on, on the value of the shares. And uh, we think that we've got, you know, based on the PA that we completed in, in uh, August of, of, of 2021, um, you know, we, we're looking here at, at a project that can throw off $100 million a year. Uh, a free cash. Uh, we have 100 million shares outstanding. I don't need to do the math for you. I mean, it's pretty compelling. Mm -hmm. um, looking ahead for the next sort of six to 18 months, what are the key milestones that investors can expect from Serato Gold? I, I would expect in the next month or so, you'll get we'll, you'll see the the company getting its uh, getting its original uh, license, the the LP, uh, which is the prime the, the premier license. Um, and then I think probably the feasibility will be completed uh, by the end of May. And then beyond that, um, we'll get the construction license probably in the second quarter. Um, and so we're looking at construction probably sometime in the third quarter um, to be in, in production in Q4 uh, of 24, Q1 of 25. Um, so, you know, you know what's, what's, what's really critical here is that we've got a really, really robust project that I believe will come in around 70% after tax IRR. Uh, which is exceptional, um, and um, it's not a big capital build again. Uh, it's about 125 million, um, and and the return on that is a year, year and a half. So, um, lot, lots of lots of things going on in the next uh, in in the next uh, 12 months. Also, we're we're going to really get back on track of the exploration. We we drilled 45,000 meters last year, but it was really mostly infill drilling. Uh, we're going to start very substantive programs into the exploration side and really drive this exploration on the company moving forward. And um, for those who want to go and uh, check out Serato Gold, what is your ticker? Uh, ticker is CERT on the Venture Exchange. Um, and you can go to the serratogold.com website. Uh, I think it's got a pretty good depiction of, of what we're up to. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Mark. And uh, thank you very much to also Red Cloud who helped uh, sponsor this interview. That was Mark Brennan, the CEO and co-chairman of Serato Gold. Thank you very much for your time, Mark. Thank you for yours, Andrew. Appreciate it.